In this video, we present L1 Quad for L1 Adaptive Augmentation of Geometric Control for Agile Quad Auteurs with Performance Guarantees. Quad Auteurs Agile Maneuvers suffer from different kinds of disturbances and uncertainties, like unknown payload, sudden weight change, ground effect, wind, or downwash. Our solution is to apply L1 Adaptive Augmentation to the Geometric Controller. We model the uncertainties as their effects on the quadrotor's motion in the form of unknown forces and moments. The L1 augmentation estimates such forces and moments and then applies compensation. We implement the architecture on a custom-built quadrotor with a PixHawk flight controller. All the demos shown next use the same set of control parameters. In the first demo, we attach a water bottle to the quadrotor which weighs 80% of the quadrotor's weight. From the data down below, L1 can significantly reduce the tracking error to at least half of the case without L1. We now show L1's compensation for the ground effect. The ground effect refers to the aerodynamic effect when the quadrotor flies close to the ground. The quadrotor with L1 off wobbles as a result of the ground effect, whereas the one with L1 on maintains a steady altitude with fluctuations contained within one centimeter. In the next demo, we attach a half full water bottle to the quadrotor. It is commonly known as the slosh payload, which causes time-varying center of gravity and moment of inertia. The quadrotor flies at 2.5 meters per second. The slow motion next will illustrate the drastic change in the distribution of the water inside the bottle. With L1 off, the fast change in the center of gravity and the moment of inertia makes it difficult for the quadrature to track the trajectory well, but L1 can help reduce the tracking error with its fast adaptation. In this demo, we cut the propeller by one-fourth, causing thrust and torque loss on the highlighted motor. The quadrature will take off to one meter above the ground and hover. We start with L1 off. The divergent oscillation indicates instability. We turn L1 on to put the quadrotor back to hover. Notice the smooth transient performance of L1. The quadrotor now hovers with a very small tracking error despite the thrust loss. We now turn L1 off to repeat the divergent oscillation, and the quadrotor eventually crashed due to the instability. In the next demo, we use four different propellers that lead to different and unknown coefficients of thrust and torque on each propeller. We hover the quadrotor with L1 on in the beginning. Now we turn it off. As can be seen, the quadrotor deviates from the hover position and the system turns into divergent instability. We will turn the L1 back on in 4 seconds. L1 now resumes the performance just as in the beginning of this demo. In this demo, the quadrotor experiences downwash from a heavier quadrotor that hovers 0.6 meters above. The quadrotor with L1 on shows advantageous transient performance and smaller steady state error than the other two cases. In this demo, the quadrotor flies through a tunnel. Inside the tunnel, the quadrotor experiences complex airflow, as indicated by the tufts. With L1 on, the quadrotor maintains a steady altitude despite the complex airflow. In the last demo, we hand different weights right beneath the front left motor. The off-center weight leads to external force and moment on the quadrotor. Among all cases, L1 provides the best transient performance and the minimum steady-state error.